Good afternoon, guys. Welcome to my studio. This is Mr. McGarrow. We are going to start our video series of building a Fender Stratocaster. Um, this is the same guitar that you guys would have been building in class. I mean, it's made by a different company, but they're all very, very similar. And um, I'm going to walk you through this build. Remember that at some point in this video, I'm going to give you the password that you're going to put in the comments section. Not the group comment section, but the private comment section. Um, when you turn in your assignment and uh, your main goal here is to watch what it is I'm doing and uh, you know be ready to build this guitar when we all get back to school at some point in the near future, hopefully. Um, let's start with unboxing this thing. So we have the Fender Stratocaster, one of the most iconic guitars you're going to find. Um, the body wood on this guitar is a mahogany. It's a light pink. Mahogany gets darker as it's actually finished. You really will never see mahogany this pink very often. Um, it has the pick guard with the electronics already in it. I might be upgrading some of these with you guys on this build in particular. Um, just for the fun of it. It's kind of what I do when I build guitars, but you have your three single coil pickups, which if you watched any of the videos, you'll understand how they work a little bit, and we'll go deeper into that later. You have a five-way selector switch. You have a volume and two tone knobs. Everything as on your kit is mostly pre-wired in the back. The body is pre-routed, which means all the holes are already made in it. Your bodies have all the screw holes already made. Mine does not. Um, so this will need a little bit of sanding, which will probably be one of the first things I'll show you is sanding and then priming this body here. Uh, look at that. Unlike yours, this model comes with instructions that I most likely won't read because well, they are in English, but I probably still won't read them. Always read instructions. Don't, don't listen to that. Read the instructions. <laughs> so we have the neck, and the neck the is pre-built with the frets already in it. This is a rosewood fretboard, which is thought to give you a more um, wide-bodied tone. I don't know if that's necessarily true. There's been some scientific studies that say guitar woods don't ch and electric guitars don't change the sound of a guitar. Other people say it does. I personally believe it has a little bit of an effect, not too much. There's no holes here, which I'll be doing. Um, it's a little bit rough. Notice that the headstock is not shaped. Something that is um, very specifically not done because Fender owns the headstock shape for the Fender Stratocaster, as you also might have seen in some of the videos. So we'll be making our own shape on this headstock. And the headstocks you have to work with are a little bigger than this, actually. I like yours better, to <laughs> tell you the truth. But we'll work on that. The neck fits into the body. One of the first things you do when you get one of these kits is you just want to make sure that they made a good neck joint. If that doesn't fit well, you're really going to not have a good time making this guitar. So that fits really well, actually. That's a good a good neck joint there. It's good and sturdy. Almost holds it on its own without screws. I'd like to see that. Okay, moving on. Onward and awkward. Looking for that password, aren't we? I think that um, I might start giving you some password letters as I go here today. Well, I'm going to have to. I've got to get the password by the end. I will say that the first letter of the password is U. The first letter is U. If you got that, the letter is U. Okay. So we got multiple bags of stuff, and these screws are all very specific. To what they do these wider screws here if you can see them we need to make sure we have four of these screws these screws are the screws that hold the neck in i have one two three four nice i have three of these springs these springs here are to hold the back where the um tremolo 
comes in, the little strings back here, you'll see that later. We have a claw for that. I have these screws that hold down the, um, hmm. These are definitely, I might actually read the instructions. Um, no, I don't need to. <laughs> these screws hold down the claw in the back that holds the tremolo, and I'll show you that part when we get to it. The other screws are for the front of the bridge. The bridge is this part here that holds the strings on. Yeah, I have a guitar with a bridge. I think I do over there. I could give you an idea of the bridge. So that will fit in there. That is the bridge of the guitar. And the second letter is N. The second letter is N. So you now have U, N. These are called saddles. These parts here. Let me get a guitar for you. This is a guitar I'm working on right now. And as you can see, these, the bridge holds the strings. That is where the strings go onto the bridge. If you can see that, similar kind of thing. This is actually based off of a Stratocaster. If you look, somewhat similar to a Stratocaster. One of the main guitars that I build. I have a lot of these laying around in here. So, moving on from the bridge, we've got the tuning heads. They're right here. The tuning heads go on the top of the headstock. They'll go in here. We have the boat, which holds your cable in. It has a cable and a whammy bar. It has a back plate and a back plate for the neck. Your third level is letter is B, so you are U N B. I'll give you the fourth letter too. It's O. Anybody want to take a guess at what this is? What my password is going to be? U N B O. Unbo. Unbo. Interesting. Unbo. So what else we got in here? I think that's about all that's important to show you. There's some random parts. I'm gonna check through, make sure that's all there. This is the nut, this holds the strings at the top of the neck. And I think our next video will be me um, giving a quick sand to this. As I said, because I'm building this one here at home, I'm gonna probably change some things on it. There's some things about Stratocasters that I like to change. Um, but this definitely is gonna get sanded. I'm gonna prime it which is to put down a white coat of paint, and I'll show you that video as well. This neck is gonna get sanded and finished. I like to make my neck fit my hand exactly. Um, this is what's called a C-shaped neck, because if you look at it, if I can get the angle right, this is a C-shape from here to here. I kinda like a little bit of a different shape on a neck. It's a little thick for me. I might sand that and shape that a little bit, something we won't be doing in class, but something that I like to do two guitars that I build. So yeah, this is the first video. The last letter is X. Unbox. U-N-B-O-X. Unbox, because this is the unboxing video. And unbox was just shorter than saying unboxing. I'd lose the letters by then. So make sure that you watch all of the video series and you get those letters throughout, or possibly it might be just one word at one given point. And that will be my password for you to prove you watch the video. Welcome. I'm really looking forward to this. It's a lot of fun to build this guitar um, in a video series with you guys. So keep watching, and I uh, will talk to you soon on the internet.